Hey guys, Objector here, and welcome to another episode of Halo 5 Spartan Up, the series where we go over tips and tricks to help you become the best Spartan you can be. In today's video, we're going to be talking about communication and how it can make you a better player and win more games. So one of the most common questions I get is, how do you win more games? And communication and teamwork really are keys to winning more games in Halo 5 or any other first person shooter. So why is communication so important? There's actually two parts to it. It helps make your team better by providing intel on the enemy, but the aspect that is more often overlooked and not mentioned, or maybe not even noticed by most players, is how it helps your own personal gameplay. Without going too much into the psychology of it, when you're calling out opponent's positions and other aspects of a game, it actually helps you focus more on your gameplay. It's kind of like when your teacher has you write a paper for a novel for school. Have you ever noticed that while you're writing the paper you start writing thoughts and ideas you didn't even know that you knew? Yeah, you can think this is just kind of BS to fill up the paper and stuff, but you start to notice things about the story you looked over the first time you read it. When writing down your thoughts and ideas, it helps you focus on the subject and makes you think at a different level. Communication in games works the same way. When you start to vocalize what you're seeing on the battlefield, you begin to focus in on your gameplay, and as a result, it makes you a better player. Regardless of whether or not your teammates actually listen to you or use your advice, you're going to win more games because you're more in the zone. Now as far as the rest of your team goes, even if they're not talking and the only thing you do is call things out like one at snipes or two taking nest, it will help your team. Even if they aren't mic'd up, hopefully your teammates will listen and even if they don't pick up those kills, they'll know where the enemies are at. Of course if you have friends that you play with on a regular basis, that's even better and hopefully you'll all be mic'd up and know the callouts and have a feel for how each other play. But if you are playing with friends, do keep in mind that if you're in party chat, the rest of your team isn't able to hear you. So if you're playing with one or two buddies, try and be in the team chat, that way the rest of your team can benefit from your callouts as well. But it doesn't need to just be with your friends. Me and Bear Terror are the only ones on our team using a mic in this gameplay, and this was the very first game we played together. We basically met up in this game and carried the team together, with me finishing first and him second, and after that we added each other and we play together whenever we're both on now. So we end up forging a friendship just because we both see the importance of communication. When you do communicate and find someone else who's mic'd up and communicates well, they will thank you at the end of the game for having a mic. If you do play well together and like them, be sure to ask if you can add them as a friend so you can keep playing together. Bear Terror and I kept doing this with new people and after about 3 or 4 games we had an entire team that was all mic'd up and had good communication. And the last thing I want to talk about today is how changes in Halo 5 has lended its gameplay to help with communication. The obvious change 343 made was the Spartans will use callouts now. I remember playing the beta and being really impressed with this, because it so didn't sound scripted and it sounded just like how players talk. Fast and to the point. Like, nade incoming. They're not perfect and they're not as good as having teammates that communicate well, but they are helpful when you're in solo queue with teammates that don't talk. So if you turn those off for some reason, I would recommend turning them back on and using them so that you have some callouts when your teammates aren't talking. And the second thing is 343 actually gives us callouts to use. I think Bungie started doing this back in Reach. It could have been earlier, but Reach was just the first game that I noticed it in. But if you look at the bottom left corner of the screen near your minimap, it'll actually tell you the given callout for the area that you're in, like Catwalk or Blue Platform. They're pretty self-explanatory and most players will at least be able to figure out where you're talking about if you use these callouts. So use them to keep it simple for your teammates who you don't know if they're understanding you or they're not communicating. Anyways, that's all for this video guys. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. If you haven't checked out my last video on map control, click the link on the screen now. And until next time, this is Objector, signing off.